Welcome back, folks, to The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Today, we are going to dance! This is the Subrosian Dance Hall. Good dancers get a prize. We're about to practice. Would you like to join in? Absolutely. Then join the circle. Need instructions? Um, yes, please. Try to copy what I do. On do, step right. On Da, step left. On D, strike a pose. Yes! Don't mess up or bump into people near you. Got it? Sure. Move to the beat. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I'm terrible. I screwed up once. <laughs> Show me your moves. Yes. Nope. You were pretty clear last time. Forgive me if I'm a little quiet here, guys. Oh, they're getting faster. You're pretty good. You're our best dancer today. Here's your prize. We got the thing. Nice. Now, I think we could actually go back there and do that more for the uh, express purpose of, I think, maybe a heart piece and some more and some ore chunks. But uh, we'll, we'll see about that later. For now, we've got the boomerang. Let's see if we can use it over at the temple to get into that area. Because remember what that gentleman there said, the one playing with his boomerang? We have the, um... The boomerang can actually activate switches from afar. And that one area in the temple definitely had a switch that was out of reach. So with luck, we'll be able to punch on through and get rolling. I say get rolling, but you know what I mean. Huzzah! Nice! Alright, let's see what's up here. It's a fairy. Bring the Rod of Seasons that is worshipped in the temple. Okay. I thought I found it, though. Well, I mean, I thought we were in the spot where it had to be. Am I crazy? Maybe. That has yet to be determined. This place got jacked. Still no seasons rod. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. You got the rod of seasons! With the power of the season spirits, it can change the seasons. Now bring the Rod of Seasons to us Season Spirits in the Four Towers. Can do! But what's back here now? Anything? Nope, guess not. Hmm. Alright, well we know which one we have to go to. There's only one that's accessible to us right now, so we'll head right there. I think it's winter if I understand those symbols that were in the main hall. So I guess Link is a winter fan too. Go figure. Okay, fairy lady, I'm back, and I have the thing.
Thank you for coming, child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Hey, listen! Din is our dear friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod that you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, waters freeze and snows pile up. Visit the other, the other three spirits, too. Please hurry to Din's aid. Quickly as we can, ma'am. The Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a wintry chill. Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. Alright. And without further ado, let's rock. So the item actually was the Rod of Seasons. New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of the woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Link, can you go for me? Yeah, because you're kind of rooted. Alright, guys. On the next episode of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, we will take this new power of ours back to the surface and see what we can do with it. Until then, guys, take care.